One on with two out. One runner straight. Third base will step on third for out number three. Sit up the middle. That's
And the tag loose will stay. The score is four to one in favor of Father McGinley. It's baseball, you know, it comes down to uh, just either the seven iron over the first baseman or that, you know, that line drive to third base that Logan Repke hit. They, they just weren't a little bit far enough away from their fielders. And that's just the way it goes. We had two innings where we had great opportunities uh, and the baseball gods just weren't in our favor. The ball just didn't drop, didn't find the hole. We were able to hit the baseball and give us a chance, but it just, it just didn't find the gap. And, and that's a tough pill to swallow, but hey, that's baseball and that's why we love it, right? Garrett pitched well. How do you feel like he did overall? Oh, he, he did fantastic. Here in the postseason of late, he's been a horse for us all year. Somebody that we can rely on, you know, in, in this situation, even going down 3-0, three, 4-1, uh, the guy's able to finish the game uh, in seven innings, and, and that's just a huge bright spot for us that we're looking forward to as a junior, going to be a senior next year. Um, being one of those guys for us postseason-wise that, that we can rely on next year is just going to be fantastic. We, we look forward to it. Yeah, uh, we, we, were, we were not intimidated by our opponent. Yes, Father McGivney is a fantastic team. Um, but here of late, we've been playing very, very good baseball, and we've always felt as a team you know, that we can compete, compete against anyone. Uh, and, and like what we saw, we had our opportunities. You know, The ball falls a little bit more. Uh, who knows what the energy might be and what the outcome of this game is. But uh, our, our guys definitely were not – quitters this game uh, and, and they understood you know we have to fill up the seven innings and compete every single seven innings because who knows it's baseball we, we could be down eight to zero going in the bottom of the seventh and, and if anybody's a baseball fan you've seen wilder comebacks you know anything can happen in this game uh, and our guys understood that talk about your seniors kind of what do they mean to the program yeah no it's 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 another milestone for them you know it's not necessarily so much about them being a part of the program now they're a part of the family um, one of the things that I hit on is, you know, not to be strangers following this graduation um, that, you know, anytime they feel like they want to come back and, and hit some BP or to be a part of this team, you know, they're always more than welcome. Um, you know, we've had fantastic seniors this year and I couldn't imagine uh, a better group to go through my first year of coaching this year uh, for varsity ball. I mean, these guys were fantastic and they were great examples for our younger guys too. You know, the, our, our juniors and sophomores and freshmen have a great great class of seniors to look up to and, and to kind of follow in their footsteps and to not only follow but to also fill those gigantic shoes that they're going to leave behind too so that it was fantastic.